All right, guys, well, Lewis here, and today we've got another match day vlog. For you guys, Sunday, it's Premier League action. It's Manchester United versus West Ham United. And on the back of the thrilling 4-3 win at Wolves in midweek, Christ, that was uh, what a game that was, a Premier League classic, you could say. We really, really need three points today. West Ham did draw with Bournemouth as well in midweek, so it just gives us the opportunity to just get some more points and go above them in the uh, table. Today's game marks the closest to the date, the anniversary of the Munich air disaster. So there's going to be a few sort of memorials and celebrations, if you like, to uh, commemorate that. So it's probably going to be quite a somber day. Let's hope we can get a win for the Busby Babes. Come and join me and let's see what United turns up today. Alright guys, time for our pre-match thoughts ahead of today's encounter with Irons! With Steam. With Steam. Irons! <laughs> they fly so high. No, I don't, I don't need a rendition, although they will be singing that. It feels like we have a home game every month. Our last one was Spurs, which is the 14th. The only, the only good thing about January. this is the Glazers aren't pocketing loads of money for home gate receipts and stuff. So. For context, obviously we went to all the home ones last season, all the Wembley ones, about six or seven aways. It, it, it added up on the bank account, whereas this season, what have we done? All home ones so far. Yeah. There's been barely any Carabao. We've only had one Carabao. Oh, Europe. Uh, load of away games, isn't it? We've had one yeah, one so. domestic away, then we had anyway. Munich away. Barely any. Today. Uh, West Ham. Uh, again, we're fighting for fighting for a fourth spot really aren't we or a place in Europe it's not where we want to be uh, so many points behind City, Liverpool, Arsenal blah 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 I think most United fans have just written off this season so yeah it's hard to get motivated other than that yeah the, the game against Wolves yeah good goal by me <laughs> at least it was a good game <laughs> uh, but again Anana. I don't uh, think you could I, I'm blame, I, I I don't rate the guy. He's not a United no, keeper. No, one rate, no one Never will be a United keeper uh, in my eyes. He's, he's a mistake waiting to happen. I don't, I don't care how, how many times people will give him a chance, this, that and the other. He's he's not for me. He's not for me at all. So, uh, but unfortunately, we're stuck with him. So, uh, we saw Varane, didn't we, the other day? Out yeah. and about with his kid. And his daughter, yeah. Who we was just driving down the road and... Varane pops up on his bicycle uh, in Wilmslow. We didn't stop. No. We didn't stop. So, uh, uh, yeah, we need these three points. Leap Frogs, West Ham, look, try and creep up the league. You know, there's teams that are dropping points. Tottenham drop points. Uh, yep. Villa are flying at a minute. Uh, Newcastle a bit wobbly. Uh, there's all to play for for the for the fourth, fifth and sixth spot so mm. I don't know where it's going to go today no. uh, team news and all that yeah obviously Martinez had that bit of a he went off with his ice pack thing yeah I think he should be okay yeah today. well I think we've got enough in the bank to uh, to to beat West Ham well, although they can be a bit of a, a bogey team well I think the team we played against Wolves was I think the strongest on paper that we've had all season you know with the injuries coming back and everything so I doubt it's going to be much different um, today. One thing that I will mention, we got quite annoyed when Casemiro got a yellow at, was it four or five minutes in? Yeah. But, I just yeah, don't but, want him to get booked again. Well, that's what happens, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, look, I don't know who he's going to pay. Obviously, Anthony's a... a, a, a Rate Anthony what you want. <laughs> he's, he's patient with Anthony. So, uh, uh, Prediction-wise, I, I think we can win today. Uh, it's never easy against West Ham. They always make it difficult. Uh, they seem to have done better away from home. They've beaten Spurs and Arsenal yeah. away. Uh, I, I'm going to go, I don't know, 2-0 United. It's Man hard United. to predict, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, as long as we get a win, but I'm going 2-0 United. But it could be anything, really. 2-1 yeah. uh, United, really. It's hard to predict. West Ham are a bit unpredictable. As I just alluded to, I do think they turn up better away from home. Got a draw the other day, not Yeah, it's not going to be easy today, but we've just got to get the three points. 2 1 United. Cheers, mate. So 
this day, starting 11. It's got Onana, Maguire, Martinez, Fernandez, Rashford, Hoyland, Garnacho, Casemiro, Dallo, Shaw, and Mainu. And on the bench, you've got Brian Deer, Lindelof, Varane, Ahmad, Amrabat, Eriksen, Forson, McTominay, and Anthony. There's only one change there. Come on. being a bit loud, singing your city's blue. Let's hope we can dominate them on the pitch. I thought it took a deflection. 
now we're one goal to the good i think you know it wasn't really much to shout about you know we, we've had a few chances well taken goal by rasmus but i still say the same thing most games we're giving giving them a bit too much space going forward not necessarily going for the tackles a lot of backwards play now i know many people have been you know criticizing rashford over the past few weeks but for once just giving the ball down the wing the reason i think why he's so offside a lot it's because we just don't give him the ball that soon. We wait too late. You know, there's times where he really wants it and I just think, please get it up the line. I think the only midfield player that seems to have a forward only vision is Maynou. There was one part where he was always looking to pass. He could have passed it back to Martinez, but he didn't and he found the through ball. That's what we really need to work on because it's so frustrating just going back all the time. Yeah, it's been a bit pedestrian at times, hasn't it? Yeah. West Ham move. Had a fair bit of possession towards the end of the half. Not, not threatened. But that Nana had a couple of, couple of minor saves to make. Other than that, we haven't really created too much on goal. Oiland took his chance well, but other than that, nothing much else to talk about in in the six yard box. We puffed and puffed, very static. Bruno gets the ball. And he turns and turns around and passes it back. It's just been a bit trading ground at time. Well, no, no, I always feel that West Ham could threaten. If we take the foot off the gas, if we come out not quite at it, you know, they could get a goal. So I think Telag will demand a bit more yeah. urgency, create a few more chances. It's been a bit thin going up front. Yeah. The 2-0, 2-0 cushion. West Ham are always going to be a dangerous side. It's the luckiest guy in the stadium. What was he thinking? The West Ham player blew that. Another injury. 
Never do. The game was just so comfortable. It was just easy. West Ham just wasted their chance. I think the biggest chance came from Bowen, and even then, that was up 2 0 down. I think if Bowen scored that 2 1, it could have been a different ending to the game. We scored soon after, and we were just very comfortable. West Ham just didn't really turn up. We frustrated them a lot. Um, the only downside is Martinez might have a bit of a severe injury. We'll have to see how that pans out, but it was just comfortable. Next game, I think it's Aston Villa next weekend away. That won't be easy, but big positive. And um, yeah, just a good game. Come on, what we needed. <laughs> 